Food is one of our favourite topics. For the most part, we enjoy eating delicious foods. But the preparing of food is something that we care a lot about as well. Today, we take a look at the place where we prepare our food, the design, organisation, as well as some of our tips for building a functional minimalist kitchen. Upon entering our apartment, the first thing that you see would be our open kitchen. Having an open concept kitchen was kind of a no-brainer for us as it not only makes our kitchen feel more spacious, it also helps make our living room more spacious. We also did away with a couple of things that are usually quite typical in an apartment kitchen. First, there are no overhead storage just 8 columns of low cabinets. Secondly, we don't have a hood above our cooktop. In both of our families, our parents aren't fans of using kitchen hoods. We grew up not using kitchen hoods, so it wasn't something that we felt we needed. Furthermore, our day-to-day -day cooking tend to be pretty light, so we have not had any issues with smell or cleaning up. On the wall behind the kitchen counter, we have a packboard set up. This modular system gives us functionality and flexibility while barely taking up space. As Glow will attest, I'm not exactly the best person to be talking about kitchen organisation or organisation in general. But here are three of our tips on how we keep our kitchen functional and minimalistic. There are a few items that live permanently on our kitchen counter like the dish rack and kettle, but otherwise, we like to keep it mostly clutter-free. Although, that doesn't mean that our countertop is always clutter-free. To make it much easier for us to keep the kitchen tidy, we have a designated storage space for every piece of item. Once I'm done cooking, I'll return the items to its allocated space and reset the kitchen to its original peaceful state ready for the next session of cooking. As somebody who cooks almost every single day, a clean countertop makes for a kitchen that is a lot less frustrating to cook in and allows me to prepare meals in a good mood. When thinking about where to keep each piece of equipment, I try to group them based on the different tasks in the kitchen. Pots and pans in the cabinets below the cooktop, seasonings and cutlery below the prep area, cleaning supplies below the sink. Further in, that's where we keep things like snacks, dry ingredients, and bulkier equipment that are not as frequently used. Pretty straightforward stuff. There is also a principle called the kitchen work triangle. The idea is to keep the cooktop, refrigerator, and sink in a triangle so that you can move swiftly between these three areas. Although it's geometrically impossible to achieve the work triangle because our kitchen is one long section, we took the concept and created our own knockoff version with the packboard. I keep my most used utensils, aromatics and seasonings right behind me so that I always have quick access to them when cooking. Planning your organisation around your workflow can help you to be more efficient in the kitchen. One of my favourite items in our kitchen are these glass containers. I use them to store food in the refrigerator. They are microwave and oven safe so I can bake and heat up leftovers in them. I also use them as takeaway containers if I'm heading to the eateries downstairs. One unminimalist like thing that I do is that I like to keep a stash of used glass jars. It's such a waste to throw these perfectly fine jars away and they are actually very useful in storing leftover nuts, beans, spices or for storing fruits like overripe bananas in the freezer. They are great for making overnight oats and they also work perfectly fine as drinking glasses. Having items like these that serve multiple functions can really help to cut down on the number of things you have in the kitchen. So hopefully, 
you have found some new helpful ideas for your kitchen. The kitchen can easily be the most dynamic and chaotic place in a home. But embrace the chaos, go with the flow, and have fun cooking. Do you have any tips for kitchen organization? Share them with us in the comments below. <music>